Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Mantis from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eyes. So we move over to the left side and draw in a circle. So we start at the very top, work our way around to the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Now we leave a large gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So we want to line up the top of the circle, come all the way down to the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Now over on the top left of each eye, I'm going to draw a smaller circle for a highlight. And line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now we're going to go in and fill the outside of the eye in black. Now on the outside of the eye, we're going to add some thick pointed lashes. So we're going to start on the top left, curve down, and then up. Now I'm going to taper this back down towards the side of the eye, and we're going to fill that in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Starting out here, we're going to curve down, and then up, and then we'll taper down and in towards the side of the eye, and we're going to fill that in black. Now we're going to move up and draw on the eyebrow. Starting on the left, we're going to curve up and then down on the inside. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Going up and then down. Now I just want to thicken up the eyebrow. Starting on the outside, I'm going to go up so it's a little bit wider along the top and then come down to a point on the inside. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now I'm going to go in and fill the eyebrows in black. In between the eyes and the center, we're going to draw on the nose. So we start with the bottom edge, with a curve coming down, and then up. Now we're going to move up towards the top of the nose and draw a curve in the opposite direction for the bridge of the nose. Now we're going to move down and draw on the mouth. We're going to draw a curve from left to right, going up, and then down. Now we're going to draw on the lower lip. From the corner of the mouth, we're going to step in, curve in the opposite direction, coming down, and then up. Now we're going to move out and draw on the side of the head. From the left eye, we're going to step out, we're going to draw a half circle, coming down towards the chin, just underneath the mouth, and then we're going to work our way back up on the right side, right beside the eye. Now from the top, we're going to draw the edge of the hairline coming up towards the antenna. Starting on the left, we're going to curve in, just touching the edge of the eyelash, pull that into right about there, do the same thing on the right, curving in, and then up. Let's overlap the antenna. From this point, I'm going to step down, curve up over that line, and then bend that out. We do the same thing on the right. Stepping down, curve up, and then out. Now at the end of the antenna, we're going to add an oval. We're going to curl around to the top. Now I'm just going to pull this in. We're going to leave a little gap along the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving around, and then in. Now the antenna gets thicker as we come down towards the head. So we start up here, start to curve in, and then the spacing gets a little bit wider, and pull that down. Now from the inside of the antenna, we're going to curve down in the middle, and then back up on the right side. Now going back to the center, we're going to draw a straight line, going up towards the top of the head, now from this top line, we're going to draw on the side of the hair. So let's start with the left side first. From the center, we're going to curve up, and then down in behind the antenna, go to the opposite side, curve around. I'm just going to pull this down just beside the side of the head. Do the same thing on the right, curving up, and then down. Go to the opposite side, curve out, and then down towards the side of the head. From the bottom, we're going to blend it to a curve going out, round this out and come in towards the chin. So let's start on the left. We're going to blend into a curve going out. We're going to round this out, come 
back up and then in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Then to that curve going out, rounding out the hair, and then pulling that in. And then from here, we're just gonna curl this around in behind the head. So start on the left, we're gonna curve down and then up. Let's add a little bit of texture to the side of the hair. Start it from the top of the cheek, curve out, round this out, and now we're gonna pull this in, aiming towards this point. Let's do the same thing on the right. Rounding this out, and then pulling that in. Now that we've drawn the head, let's work our way down the body. We're gonna start with the collar first. So in the center, we're gonna draw a half circle from left to right, coming down, and then back up. Now from the collar, we're gonna step out. We're gonna curve in the cloak, and then curve it back out. So curving it in, and then bending it back out. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. Curving in, rounding it out, and then bending it out. Now from the bottom, I'm gonna curve this up and in behind the hair. So we go up and curve that back out. Now we're gonna to move to the outside and draw on the arms. From this point at the top of the coat, we're gonna curve out and down towards the wrist. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now back on the left side, let's draw on the thumb. We'll start with a half circle, curving in and then back out. At the end of the thumb, we're gonna go up and pull that in towards the top of the wrist. Let's do the same thing on the right, curving in and then out. And at the bottom, we're gonna curve up and out towards the inside of the wrist. Now let's draw on the fingers. Starting at the bottom of the thumb, we're gonna curve down, round out the first finger and go up. We'll step down, curve down and up the second finger. Now the third finger, we're gonna start on the side here, curve out, round up the arm and then pull that up in behind the hair. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting at the bottom of the thumb, we curve around, step down, curve down and up. And then the third finger, we're gonna go all the way around in behind the hair. Now we're gonna add the bottom edge of the sleeve. Starting from the bottom point of the thumb, we're gonna curve up and then out. Let's go to the wrist and draw that same curve. Do the same thing over on the right. Start from the bottom of the thumb, curve over the fingers and out. At the wrist, we'll draw that same curve. Now we're gonna move up and draw the edge of the sleeve. Starting right where the hair meets the arm, we'll curve in and then down. Same thing on the right side. I just want to add a trim. We'll step down, draw that same curve. Now halfway between the chin and the bottom of the coat, we're gonna draw a curve. Start from the left, we're gonna curve down and then up on the right. Now from the center, we're gonna step down, draw on the lower torso. From left to right, we're gonna curve up and then down. Now let's draw the inside of the leg. Leaving a small gap in between, we go to the left side, curve out, and then down towards the left heel. Go to the right, curve out, and down towards the right heel. Now we're gonna round out the bottom of the feet. From heel to toe, we draw a short curve, between down and then up. Now we're gonna round out the top of the foot. Starting from the end, we're gonna curve up. Now we're gonna curve this down, aiming towards the heel. We'll stop right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna thicken up the sole. Taking this curve, we're gonna step up and just go all the way across. Now let's draw on the outside of the leg. Start from the top of the foot. We're gonna curve this out and then up underneath the coat. Now we're gonna add in the boot cuff. From the foot, we're gonna step up, draw a curve from left to right, coming down and then up on both sides. Now let's add a trim on the side of the leg. From the left, we're gonna step in, just follow the same curve of the leg, coming down towards the boot cuff on both sides. Now we're gonna add a series of horizontal lines going up. Starting from the left, go across, step up. I'm just gonna leave an even space gap all the way to the top. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Now we wanna add a trim on the inside of the coat. So we're gonna take this curve, Stepping out, curve in behind the hair, come 
all the way down towards the bottom and then out. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Now the last thing we're going to do is add the belt on the sides of the coat, starting from the end of this line, curve out and then up. We'll step up, draw that same curve coming in. Let's do the same thing on the right, curving out, step up, curve out to the right, and that's pretty much it. There's Mantis from the Guardians of the Galaxy. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.